wasting time. We are going to move on straight to the word of God. And whatever God has for you this morning will never ever pass you by in Jesus' name. I will be speaking on the topic that says, living by the word of God. Living by the word of God. Living by the word of God. Praise the Lord. A lot of believers are not actually living by the word of God. You know, the Bible says they just shall live by faith. They just, a lot of the just ones, the believers, are not living by faith. And because they are not living by faith, they are not living by the word of God, many things are going wrong in their lives. When you live by the word, you know your life is blessed. Your life is prepared. Your life is fashioned. Your life is directed. Your life become a mirror of the world. So the word of God is the power that you need to live by. You want to live a long life, you live by the world. You want to live a blessed life, you live by the world. Whatever thing that you want to live for, you have to live that thing by the word of God. Because the word of God has it all. And I want to say to you, because the word of God has it all, be rest assured that the word of God is coming your direction this morning. And as the word comes your direction this morning, uh, everything you expect from the mighty God shall be given to you in Jesus' name. We're going to take straight uh, from the book of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 9. And another one, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. I'm going to take the Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 first. And then we proceed to every other thing that God has this morning. I know somebody that is watching me is already blessed. And I know the blessings you received this morning will continue to be with you. And then nobody will take it away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please turn down this very microphone. Don't want to hear the echoes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. Now, this is uh, the, 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 the word of God concerning uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. He said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for them thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Praise God. He said, this book of the Lord shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night to observe to do according to all that is written in this book of the law. In other words, the word of God should not depart out of your mouth. But you have to allow the word of God to remain in your mouth in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Wherever you see yourself, the word of God should remain in your mouth. The weapons of our warfare and what we need to conquer our enemy. What we need to overcome the world is the word of God in our mouth. The word of God in our mouth, that is the word of God in our heart. The word of God, the contents of your heart is what determines what comes out of your mouth. As a child of God, if you don't have the word in your heart, it will be very difficult to be able to counter the spiritual forces of darkness. You remember what the Bible said? It said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers because we wrestle not against flesh and blood our wrestling is against spiritual forces in the high places and because we wrestle against spiritual forces in the high places we need to put on every armor that is needed to conquer the enemy and so you as a child of god you want to live a life a life of victory you want to live a life a life of fulfillment you want to live a life a life to conquer your enemies you want to live a life a life that is has overcome the enemy and will continue to overcome the enemy and triumph over satan you need the word to be loaded inside of you so many believers have neglected the world they have not taken the word of god serious they think the word of God is just, oh, come and hear it and go. No, the word needs to be inside of you. 
because when the word is inside of you the devil does not come to tempt you by stoning you the devil does not come to pull us down by shooting a gun it does not come to destroy us by trying to carry cutlass to cut you no it only comes to shoot a thought it comes to throw an arrow of words arrow of thought in our heart do you think god can save you do you think god loves you do you think that god has anything to do for you don't you think it is time to abandon the service of god don't you think it's time to leave god and find your way it will try to put all sort of thoughts in your heart it will try to push all sort of confusion in your heart and a lot of Christians, a lot of believers, when all those thoughts begin to enter into our heart, we begin to think, oh, I've been serving God for many years. What have I gotten? I've been following Christ for so many years. What is it that I've gotten? Is it not better I backslide? Is it not better I go back to my father's idol? Is it not better I go and do what others are doing? What others are doing is not best for you. What is best for you is what you are doing as a child of God. You have choose to follow him. And whether the rain or shine, you need to keep moving because you're focused on him. You know, the Bible is not good. The Bible does not say that God is going to judge us by anything. God is going to judge us by our, our belief in him. Do you believe? As many that believe, they shall be what? They shall be saved. As many that believe shall be saved. But those that don't believe, they are the people that is condemned already because they don't believe that Jesus is Lord. So the devil wants you to have doubt. It is the doubt in your heart that makes you vulnerable for the overcoming and the devil now begin to overcome you. But you have believed that God is everything to me. Even though you are weak, in your weakness, God will save you. Even though you are not perfect, we are all pursuing to be perfect. Even though you have no strength, God will become your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need the word in our heart. We need the word to speak at all times. We need the word to proclaim, to declare, and to decree that this is what God has said about me. And whatever he says about you is what comes to pass. Now he said to Joshua right here, what happened here is that Joshua was about to take up the leadership of taking the people of Israel to their promised land. Joshua was about to take the Israelites to the promised land and he was left alone to do that. Because at that point, nobody is standing with him. He was alone. Moses is God. Moses is the servant of God that brought them that far as God. It's now left for Joshua. Joshua would have given up on the way and said, if my master Moses could not take us to the promised land, I might want to take them to the promised land. I don't think I have the strength. I don't think I have the power. Moses have tried and Moses failed. If God could take away Moses, how do I think that I can move on? A lot of thoughts must have been going on in the heart of Joshua. Joshua must have been thinking about so many things like many of us are thinking today. Many of us will even begin to use some people to compare ourselves. Brother so, 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 so you have been serving God. He's not yet a millionaire. He has not built a house. He has not done this. He has not done that. So, so, sister has been doing this and doing that. He has not married this, that, that, that. So, 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 he has been this, 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 and this has not happened. And then we use that to conclude with our lives. That is not how a child of God should be thinking. A child of God, a believer should not think like that. Because as it's happening to the other person, it's not a guarantee that you are not going to succeed. So whatever is happening to somebody, God has ways of dealing with different people. God has ways of following different people. You might be serving God for many years and it seems that nothing is working. I want to tell you that something is working. You have been a believer. You have believed in Christ. You have been serving God with the truth and in the spirit. And every day you keep on talking about Christ. Christ blesses. Christ lifts up. Christ blesses people. He does this. He does that. But in your very life, nobody has seen that blessing. Nobody has seen that and happen. Brother, sister, I want you to have faith. I want you to keep on trusting God. I want you to keep on putting your confidence in Christ. Because as you keep on trusting God, and putting your confidence in Christ. Something new must happen in the name of Jesus. What is it that will happen? A miracle must happen because God is going to arise and the, the will of God will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to let you know that as your confidence is in Christ Jesus, something good must surely happen in the name of Jesus. So keep on trusting God. Keep on believing Christ. Keep on believing in him and the will of God will be done in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So 
he told uh, 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 Joshua right here, he said, Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. In other words, the word of God must be in your mouth all the time. You must be talking about Christ. You must be proclaiming Christ. You must be prophesying Christ. You must speak at the word of God all the time. I know I can make it. I know I will succeed. I know I will prosper. I know I am healed. I know I am blessed. I know the will of God will come to pass in my life. I know that heaven is open unto me already. I know that whatever God has said about me will surely come to pass. I know that God is interested in my life praise god hallelujah i said hallelujah so when you keep on saying it declaring it believing it confidence in him keep on believing and trusting then you will see what god will do then you will see that the glory of god will be revealed in your life you will see that the will of god will come to pass i pray for you that is watching me the will of god will surely come to pass in your life in the name of jesus nobody will take away what god has prepared for you because I know that today it might look as if nothing is working. But something good is going to work in the name of Jesus. Now he said, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous. For you to prosper, you to make it, must be in your heart. Your heart must tell you, I am going to make it. And that is in accordance with what God has said already. You must align it with the word of God in your life. You must align your faith, align your trust, align your confidence, align your hope in Christ. You must align it together. I know I will make it. I know I will succeed because the word of God has said it. The word of God has said it as the word of God has said it. I believe it and so shall it work for me hallelujah and so these are the things that open the door these are the things that open the way these are the things that bring the prosperity these are the things that bring the fulfillment these are the things that brings the will of god coming to pass in our lives align yourself with the word and the word will produce your desire the word will produce your expectation the word will produce that success you are believing god for and then look at the last paragraph he said and then thou shall have good success praise god so it's not about just being blessed there are different levels of blessing when the word of god is in your heart and you are living by the word when you are living by the prophetic word you are living by the things that god has said to you he said you will make good success good success there are different kinds of success but the good ones are the ones that come from the mouth of the lord i pray for somebody hearing my voice the lord will cause you to have that good success in the name of jesus i'm not hearing a better amen there i need a better amen you will surely have good success in jesus name hallelujah second timothy chapter three second timothy chapter three we open the bible so that we all will be able to see what is written what is written in the word for you and i second timothy chapter 3 you are going to read 16 second timothy 3 16 we read 16 through to 17 the last verse it says all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of god may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works praise the lord hallelujah these are the the aspects of the scripture that many of us don't give a thought if you don't give a thought to this aspect of the scripture then you will not know the content of the word of god you will not know what the word has for you there are people that are confused today if you ask them ah brother sister why are you confused they say i don't know what to do I've been a believer for so many years. I've been serving God. But things are not really working. No. You have not really searched out the content. Look at what he said. He said, all scripture, all the written word, every word that comes from God, whatever God says to you, is given by inspiration of God. Whatever God says does not come as a joke. It does not come as a play. 
it comes inspirationally because inspiration is what rules the world you want to rule the world it is by inspiration a businessman that is not inspired cannot prosper in his business a working man that has a handwork if you are not inspired you cannot succeed in your job what makes you to move forward and become better than others and do greater is the ability to be inspired inspiration is what shows you the next level that others have not seen it's what brings the mystery and open up the mystery for you to be able to catch up the secret and the hidden mystery of whatever you are doing so there's hidden mystery that is why you see a lot of people are singing but some people are stars in singing a lot of people are designers but some people are stars in their design a lot of people are doing different things but some people are standing tall in what they do why because they are inspired in another dimension so the word of god is given as inspiration from above it comes to you by god's inspiration god said this is what this will be and it has inspired as men that takes it as an inspiration of god this thing god has said is god's inspiration if i can go by the inspiration of god then that means i will have no limit i will never be stopped in other words i want to show you something i want to tell you something a story of what has been happening in my life before i get to this place this very land i'm using now for the work of god god has told me several years that social place a time is coming i'm going to take you to social place and this is what you are going to be doing there and then i kept on believing god anytime i want to pray i reflect my heart back to what god has said to me and i kept on praying i kept on believing god i kept on trusting god and saying god what you have showed me will surely come to pass can i tell you that when i even got to this place i was not that uh, 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 that buoyant enough to say oh now i can lay ownership no i was just like an attache but from there god moved me level to level till the will of god was done few places we have just gotten i didn't get them by oh i can't do money i want to go and get them it is given to me inspirationally by god that's also place so so time so so this is going to be and when i begin to pray i pray towards that angle and today every single thing he says all of them has come to pass now listen to where a lot of people are making mistake they get inspiration from god i am going to do this in your life i'm going to bless your marriage i'm going to bless your husband i'm going to take you people to this place this is what i will do for you many people will receive that inspiration from god and neglect it some will just throw it away god says he will do this i beg put it by the side whatever god says to you and you don't take it serious it dies down your ability to take what god says to you serious is what makes the miracle to happen look at joseph in the bible joseph had a dream in that dream he was shown where his his star was standing tall and every other star of the brethren were all bowing he woke up and told the father and told the brothers he told the father they were all angry with him but he never got angry with himself he kept on trusting god and kept on believing that what god has said will surely come to pass now it doesn't matter people how they make mockery of you when you are following the instruction of god whenever god inspire you and instruct you what to do and you are moving by faith doing what god has asked you to do it doesn't matter how many people that are with you or not with you because people around you may not see what you are seeing people with you may not know what you know people with you may not even believe that what you are saying is real but you that have gotten the inspiration from god and that vision from god and that revelation have to hold on to what god has said to you and then you will say god says it i believe it and that is what we settle all oh, that i'm believing him for when he says it you believe it then be surprised you will not be you'll be surprised that everything that he says and you believe you will see them come to pass in your very eyes three days ago somebody called me this is a, a, a brother from the same uh, uh, village called me and said man of god i said yes he said for for like two three years we have not spoken we have not seen we have not been seen he's living in abuja i live in lagos 
he told me a vision that he saw and the vision he saw is in line with what i am doing already and when he told me that vision i said what you saw was very clear because god has put it in my hand already look at what i am doing already and i know that what you saw is what is going to be and what happened i took that revelation and i heard it i said god it must be like that this revelation must be like this nothing will stop it the whole world will pass away but as far as god has spoken as far as god has spoken whatever he says is what is going to come to pass that is why on the 31st night i was standing here and the prophecy was going on and god was revealing things that will happen this year and i kept on saying them saying them as i've seen them i kept on saying them one of the prophecy came to pass this last week this week came to pass but when i was given the prophecy here many people will not believe they will say ah beg this is a story how is this going to be but i said it because this is god speaking to me and god ministering through me to the people so whatever he says is what is going to be his word does not come for jest it does not come for play it does not come for toy it comes for a particular purpose and whatever purpose the word is made for will surely come to pass so i said that this thing god is saying i know it will be just for a time so many people will neglect it many people will make jest of it but if you can hold on to it if you can trust god for it if you can have faith and say god you have spoken i know that what you say will come to pass you will be surprised everything he says all of them will come to pass i pray for you that is watching Whenever you're watching me, I pray whether you're a pastor, you're a man of God, you are a teacher, you are an evangelist, you are a prophet, whatever you are, whoever you are, I pray for you that every word that God has spoken to you, that a lot of things in your heart or around you have tried to discourage you. God himself will enter into your heart and God will cause every word spoken to you to all come to pass in the name of Jesus you that is sitting and you're hearing the sound of my voice whatever god has said to you will surely come to pass can i hear amen there can i hear a better amen i need a louder amen it will come to pass in jesus name why because it is an inspiration from the almighty god and he said it's profitable for doctrine what is doctrine the word that god has spoken to you will help you on how you should live your life how you should go about things and how you should walk on your ways praise god when the, 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 the prophet of god will always prophesy to the israelite he said the enemy will be coming through this way this is where you are going to follow the enemy will come from this mountain but this is where you people should be in fact this is what the enemy want to do this is what you should do the people will hearken to the voice of god and they will go on the prophetic as god has spoken to them now when they go to what god has spoken to them and how god has directed them the enemy will come and will not see them they will waste their time waste their armories waste everything at the end they cannot see them why because these people has hearkened to the instruction of god and is now profitable for them and when they want to go for war god will tell them this is how to go this is what to do this is how you should follow they will hearken to the voice of god and they will go after it and it happens like that anytime they disobey the instruction they always find themselves to blame so we are in the dispensation to manifest the word of god word of god is not just a written word word of god is that thing that god says to you you have god in your heart the spirit of god is in your heart and the spirit of god is not mute you see a lot of people will think ah i've not heard god is not speaking to me i've not heard god spoken listen to me it is your ability to develop yourself that when god speaks to you you know that this is the voice of god that is what makes the voice of god to be more audible to you as i'm standing here ministering as god speak to me I will begin to declare it the way god is saying it and nothing can stop it it does not deviate it does not go to the left or right whatever he says i present it the way he says it and that's what brings about miracles that's what brings about all the testimonies that's what brings about all the things that we see happening praise the lord so child of god prepare yourself because god will be speaking to you can i hear amen oh your amen is too poor I need a louder amen there. <laughs> Prepare yourself because God is going to be speaking to you. 
as God speaks to you, take it that way. And when you take it that way, you will be surprised that everything he says will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are connected and you are watching, my prayer for you is that as the word drop in your heart, just take it that way and go by it. You will be surprised that the will of God will be accomplished in the name of Jesus. It is very dangerous and bad to reject the word of God. When you reject the word of God and you reject to follow the instruction of God, it is very, very dangerous and it's not good for you as a believer. Look at uh, the man called Jonah in the Bible. Jonah was a man that God has sent on Aaron. But what happened? Jonah becomes so uh, 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 kind of, uh, uh, did you know what to do? What God has asked him to do? And what happened to him? The Bible said that Jonah ended in the belly fish, in the fish belly, in the belly of fish. Fish swallow Jonah. If not by mercy, Jonah would have digested in the belly of fish. That would have been the end of his ministry, the end of his life. So, your ability to hearken to the voice of God and follow whatever God has said to you is the ability to fulfill the will of God in your life. We need to fulfill the will, the will of God in our lives. Our lives is just, God has already packaged, this is how I want my people to grow. This is what I want for my people. So, your ability to hearken to the voice of God is what takes you to the next level you are looking for. I pray for you, you will get there. Can I hear amen there? I say you will get there. In the name of Jesus. You will get there in the name of Jesus. Look at uh, the, the, the last one of it. He said, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. What is the instruction in righteousness? Go this way. It will be better for you. The Bible said, God said, I have created two ways for you. This one, the little life. This one, the little death. Choose you this day. We are to follow. If you follow the negative one, it's for you. You follow the positive way, it's for you. Now look at verse uh, Second Timothy, the same place chapter 4 second timothy 4 look at verse 1 we're going to read verse 1 and uh, down to 5 he say i charge thee therefore before god and the lord jesus christ who shall judge the weak judge the weak and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom preach the word be instinct in season out of season reproof rebuke Exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having ancient ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. Look at what he said. He said, preach the word. Reproof, rebuke. Because you see, a lot of people don't want to hear the sound word of God. A lot of people want to hear, oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, that is all. You don't need anything. All you need is to just lift up your hand and wave. That's all. No. I am not a prophet that will come and tell you, oh yes, as you are there, touch and follow. As you are there, it is done. No. I need you to be a fisherman by yourself. Anybody that goes to the river and fish and bring to you and give you maybe two fishes or three fishes or a basket of fish to eat. Every day will go to the river and bring basket of fish for you to eat. Doesn't love you. He's giving you fish to eat, but he does not love you. If he loves you, he should tell you, oh, since you are always interested in eating fish, follow me. Let me teach you how to also fish for yourself. Praise the Lord. That was why Jesus, when he was with the disciples, he has to teach them all ways on how to achieve the best. He said, Peter, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Praise the Lord. Somebody hearing me, the Lord will make you fishers of men. In the name of Jesus. He said, many people will not want to hear the sound word. But he's using this portion to tell us that we should listen. That he judge us through Christ. The only one that will judge everybody. That sees everybody and knows everybody. That he charge you. That you should please follow the sound word of God. Follow the word. Preach the word. Instinct in the word. Rebuke. Reproof. Eh? 
rebuke and do what and reprove preach in state in season and out of season there is no time you will say oh this is the time to believe god and this is time not to believe god you need to believe him every moment morning afternoon night day and night every hour every time you need to believe god don't go halfway halfway and half bake is not the best for us the best for us is fullness the fullness hallelujah why because he said the time comes when they will not endure sound word that is what is happening in the world today the sound word of god is not everywhere you can hear it it's not everybody that can preach the sound word a lot of people want to want to want to hear different things they want to preach as it will suit them you want to preach you want to hear the word uh, when he says oh, uh, receive money you will prosper or yeah or yeah just jump up and begin to prosper that is not the preaching jump up and prosper is not the preaching what is the preaching is that believe god and you shall what prosper he said believe the prophet you shall prosper believe god you shall be established that is the word of god when you believe god you then begin to listen to all the instruction of god you begin to listen to all the word of god whatever god says that is what you listen to and believe the prophet means you are believing the word of god that comes out of the prophet of god not jump up and that is all you prosper no jump up and prosper you jump up you say ah it never happened uh, what else should I do? Okay, climb the tree, you will prosper. You climb three. That is not what will prosper you. What will prosper you is to believe the word that comes out of the prophet of God or the servant of God or the man of God concerning the kingdom of God, concerning what God is saying. Because there's something God is saying. If I listen to me, there's no preaching we want to preach today that has not been given by God. So the message has already come from above. It is now left for you to marry the world believe the world take the word put it in your heart live on it trust it then the world begin to change everything around you begin to change you're going to take away all those limitations you begin to take away all those setbacks you begin to take away different things that always bring you down or want to stop you when the word you believe begin to take all those things away, that is where your miracles begin to happen. I pray for you that is hearing me, your miracle will happen this morning. In the name of Jesus. I say your miracle will happen this morning. Your miracle will happen this morning. He say a lot of people will turn away their ears from the truth. And they will be turned onto fables. What are the fables? Fables is oh, anything that suits them is what they want to hear. They don't want to hear the sound word because the sound word of God will look somehow painful. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I pray for you a miracle will happen. Let's quickly and lastly see Jeremiah chapter 8. We are going to take our reading verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 9. Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah was among the young prophets that God called from childhood. He said before he was born that God has already known him and has made him a prophet. Eh? A lot of people will say, ah, <laughs> somebody who was not yet born, God has already known him, and God has made him a prophet. Chapter 8. Jeremiah 8, verse 9. Verse 9 it says, The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord. And what wisdom is in it? Praise God. They are ashamed. Wise men said, Ah, what are you talking about? People that claim that they are wise, people that claim they are educated, people that claim they have attained, people that claim they are on the top, they are the president, they are the governors, they are this, they are that. They have they have rejected the word of God. They are ashamed. When you talk about Christ, you talk about God and his kingdom of God, you will say, no, 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 no. That is not what I want. What they want is abracatabra. Somebody that will come and do magician. Pam, patam, pam, pam. They will say, yes, that's what I want to see. That's why when Pharaoh saw the, 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 the demonstration of power 
by Moses. He said, ah, ah, this thing is a minor thing now. <laughs> I have people that can do the same. And they begin to call all his magicians, all the astrologers, all his enchanters, all the divination, incantation, and all the witch doctors. And every one of them, they gathered and they begin to throw their staffs on the ground. Their staffs begin to turn to serpent, just like Moses' own has turned to serpent. He now begin to post off begin to boast of himself. He said, yes, whatever Moses wants to do, I have people that can do it. But God now did something else that shocked him. What was that? God caused the staff of Moses to start to swallow that of the Egyptians. And everything they threw on the ground were all swallowed by that of Moses. It was when all of them were swallowed that the man was surprised and shocked. He said, I've not seen this one before. There is no how you can see the revelation and the secret and the things that belong to the kingdom when you have not believed. That's why Jesus said, if you can believe, nothing shall be impossible. Impossibility made possible is when somebody believes. If you don't believe, forget about it. Oh, I am believing God for this and you want it magically. It will never happen. There's nothing that will happen magically when it comes to the spiritual aspect of God's life. Praise God. So that is what happened here. That's what is happening here. As a child of God, we must all know this and, and, and now have a divine, a, a, another aspect of our approach to the word of God. Not like the people that claim that they are wise. Because God, the Bible says God will always use the foolish things to confirm the wise. We use it to confirm the wise. I pray for you that is hearing me this morning. Your light has started shining forever. It will shine forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Your doors are open already. And nobody can close it in the name of Jesus. The favor of God is upon your life. And nobody will take it away from you. Whatever God has done for you will remain with you all the days of your life. I say it will remain with you all the days of your life. It will remain with you all the days of your life. The word of God is sufficient unto me. 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 The word of God. Is sufficient to me. The word of God 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 is sufficient to me. I said the word of God. It's sufficient unto me. It's sufficient unto me. The word of God is sufficient unto me. The word of God is sufficient unto me. I said the word of God is sufficient unto me. The word of God is sufficient unto me. It's sufficient to me. It's sufficient to me. It's sufficient to me. It's sufficient to me. The word of God is sufficient. The word of God is enough for me. The word of God is the source of my life. The word of God is everything that I need. The word of God is my hope. The word of God is my trust. Is sufficient unto me, oh Calabotion da Is sufficient unto me. I said the word of God oh, is sufficient unto me, oh Eveluma, but you for my chuku name of your man. Ogranga danga obugio. Chuku nene to obugio. Osu woro no moke. Obugi ne melo moke. Oh, <laughs> 
In your heart, don't be moved, don't be shaken, don't be troubled. Put your confidence and your faith in the word. The word of God will make the way for you because the word has been with God and the word is God. The Bible said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God Himself. That word will do something for you, it will do something for me, it will do something great in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The word will remain sufficient for you in Jesus' name. Now, I want to quickly read the Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2, and uh, down to 4. It says, And thou shalt remember all the ways which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart whether thou wouldest keep his commandment or no oh my god and he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knowest not neither did thy father's nose that he might make thee know that man doeth not live by bread alone 
but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doeth man live. Thy raiment waxed not old upon thee, neither did thy foot swell these forty years that the Lord took them in the wilderness. Praise God. You see what God was saying here? He said, he took the Israelites to pass through many things. In other words, sometimes God is allowing things to happen in our lives so that he can prove our heart. God allows it. Not that God is the one tempting you. Not that God is the one bringing those things to you. God allowed those things to be happening. And that is why every believer, as a child of God, you must soak yourself in the world so that when anything is happening, the word of God will be telling you, keep going. Don't give up. Keep trusting God. Yes, you are not yet married, but keep believing God. Yes, you don't have the money, but keep trusting God. Keep being faithful. Keep moving. Keep believing God. Keep hoping in Christ. As you are hoping, you are pressing forward, you are moving on, all those things will be happening. What are those things happening for? Those things want to just bring a confusion that will make you to say, ah, I beg this God, I don't tire, Jerry. How long will I keep on believing God and putting my trust? Just like Job. Job had his worst temptation all in the name to frustrate him and make him give up on God. Sister, brother, that is hearing me. If you give up on God because of the situation now, you give up on God on the last day, God will ask you, oh, you gave up on me because little challenges come. You gave up on me because of this. Oh, yeah? See, the, the worst challenge of it all, the worst place that can oppose anybody is hell. So we keep on trusting God, believing whatever is happening is happening for our hearts to be proved. And when your heart is proved, the doors open. When your heart is proved, the windows of heaven open. When your heart is proved, the wealth of the Almighty God begin to come. That's what the Bible says. The eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has for those that love him. Do you love God? If you love God, trust him. If you love God, put your confidence. If you love God, remain with him and keep on believing him. When you are passing through these things, there are so many wilderness in our lives. A lot of wilderness. It's not because some of people will come and say, oh, like this man of God preaching to you now, you say, ah, this man of God will not have problem at all. If I open up my problems to you, you will faint. But I am not seeing those problems as problems. I am seeing them as a stepping stone for the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, this man of God should be wealthy. If you look at his, uh, he has car, he has this, oh, office, uh, everything. Look at the church, very big. <laughs> Brother, eyes can deceive you. Eh? What you see with your eyes can do what? Can deceive you. You will see, oh, this is wealth. Yes, it looked to you wealth. Our wealth is our faith in God. Our riches is our trust in Him because the Bible says, My God will supply all my needs according to His riches in glory to Christ Jesus, my Lord. Because He knows, oh, my daughter does not have money for this, but this thing has so so time. We want to press my daughter down. He will make a way before you get to that point. God will make a way for you. You say, ah, landlord almost threw my load away. He says, it's coming on Monday. That if I don't pay on Monday, he will throw my loads away. But at that Monday, before he came, somebody has done so so, -so thing. And there's so so, -so thing in my hand. And when he came, I approached him. I said, landlord, please, I don't have. But this is what I have. He said, God save you. Today, I would have thrown your loads out. That is God making a way. I pray for somebody hearing me. The Lord will make a way where there's no way. I said, the Lord will make a way where there's no way. Can I hear a better amen? Your life is a living testimony. And nobody can take that testimony away. Because you are a believer, heaven is already open unto you. Heaven has opened unto you. The blessings will come upon you and they will surely overtake you. Hallelujah, somebody. I said, hallelujah, somebody. I said, hallelujah. Your life is a living testimony. Are you hearing me? Your life is a living testimony. Keep on believing God and God will keep on surprising you in Jesus' name. Alright, because of time, I'm going to run it up here because uh, we are to prepare for the second service and uh, whatever God has to give to us will surely come into our hands in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that God will digest this word in our heart and let this word bear fruit in our heart. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.